Hello, this is Ms. Unker. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Kentucky Virtual Library database today. To access all of the Oldham County High School databases, you're going to want to um, access our main web page, look for library resources, and then we're going to look for Kentucky Virtual Library. Now when we access the Kentucky Virtual Library from here at school, we have sent in all of our computer IP addresses and so their server and computers automatically know that we're allowed in without an ID and a password. But if you attempt to access this database at home, you're going to come up with a screen that asks you for a username and password. Those are changed every three to six months by the Kentucky Virtual Library. They're assigned to us, so we do not use our normal username and password. Um, you're going to have to contact a library staff member, and we will give you an up-to-date username and password. If you access here at school, there's no need for a password. I would encourage all high school students to go into the Kentucky Virtual Library in the way that I'm showing you. You can either access it from this top menu bar and go here through high school, or you can access it on the side. Now from here, you're gonna have access to a lot of other um, databases. So Kentucky Virtual Library is a collection of lots of databases. I'm going to be showing you how to use EBSCOhost today. So we're gonna click on EBSCOhost. And then we're gonna click on this top link, EBSCOhost Research Databases. We're gonna be talking about how you can research using Kentucky Virtual Library today. Now, if you scroll down, these are all of the different collections that you have available to you um, in this database, and there are quite a few of them. Now, if you don't want to limit your search at all, you can just type in your search term. Um, you can type select all and then continue. I would suggest, however, that um, you go through and limit to the topic that you're interested in researching. Now, for example purposes today, I'm going to just choose a few of these. I'm going to pretend like I'm from a health class and I'm researching um, maybe a disease or a, an issue that people have. So I'm going to try to go through and kind of limit my databases to ones that I feel like might have health information in them. Health source is a good one. And then there's one, um, must have already passed it up, it's called Medline. There it is. So let's check that one. And then the ones that I selected at the top are just general um, that contain lots of different magazine articles. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And then I'm going to type in high blood pressure. And if you notice, it's trying to populate some common search terms. It wants to help me to re be a better researcher. But we're just going to hit, eh, I just want high blood pressure. So we have over 144,000 articles that are given back to us. Now we can help limit that um, by clicking on full text and that's limiting all of those articles to full text only, not just citations. And we now have 24,000, which is still an overwhelming amount of results. So let's go ahead and go in and use a search term. Let's say I'm looking for high blood pressure and medication. Now we've drilled it down and we have um, just under 2,000 articles that are available. Now you can scroll down and see that it's providing us with some videos, um, some magazine articles, some from academic journals. If you go over here to the left side, you can limit if you say, well, I actually just want articles from Health Source, the consumer edition. And now we only have um, just under 500 to, to look through. Or you can come over and say, well, I just actually only want magazine articles. And now we've drilled down and we just have 107. Now in the Kentucky Virtual Library, we're going to look at this science news article. And you may look at this and think, okay, I'd like to see it how it was laid out in the magazine. And in order to do that, you just click on this PDF full text and they've actually scanned in the article and you'll be viewing it just like it looked in the magazine. And some people prefer this view um, to looking at it in, in the other type of text. 
All right, we read this article, we wanna use it in our research. They have a very neat feature over here on the right side called Cite. And that helps you cite your source because we always wanna give credit when we're researching. So we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna find MLA format, which is the format that Oldham County High School has adopted. You can simply highlight that citation, right click, copy, and paste it into your bibliography. There are other neat features over here. You can add it to a folder. You can print the article, you can email it to someone or maybe email it to yourself. You can save it to your user drive or your computer. You can export it, create a note, um, create a permalink or a static link, share it. You can also listen to the article, which is a really neat feature. Um, you just would click listen. You can even choose what accent you want it to be read to you in. I'm gonna click on another article and go back and show you um, one other feature. Some of the articles have a button on them that says translate. Not all of the articles, articles, but some of them. And if it does have that button, then you can go through and choose the language that you would like the article translated into. Now I'm going to choose French. I want it translated from English to French. And this takes just a second or two. And now the article is in French. So if your native language is not English, this would be a very helpful tool over on the right hand side. Now, if you ever have questions or need help limiting your search in the Kentucky Virtual Library, all that you have to do is come up and ask one of the library staff members and we will be more than happy to help you um, kind of drill down your search terms if you're having issues. Or if you have any general questions about the Kentucky Virtual Library, please feel free to look us up and we'll be glad